Good evening, folks. Sorry we're a wee bit late. Sarah was fixing her hair. Um, she did we put in technical, technical issues. She was, she was brushing the hair. You know, woman, I, I don't have that issue, as you all know. Anyway, welcome to Haunted Tastings tonight. We're joined by John, joined by Sean and June from East Sussex Paranormal and Research Group, who are living Hastings and a paranormal research team from Hastings. So, tonight, basically, we've got a, a bunch of videos that Sean and June kindly shot for us. And um, we're just going to show you we clips of the videos and then Sean and Joe are going to take you through each video, if that's okay with you guys. Eh? Thanks for coming in, guys. Hope you are well and that's safe and what um, So if you are all ready, we'll just get straight on with it since we're running a wee bit late. Um, I say we'll just show the videos and then you just tell us about the location, any investigations you've done there, any captures you've had there. You know, etc. Thank you very much indeed for inviting us along for this. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're very honored and uh, privileged to be part of this. So, thank you so thank much. You, buddy. Uh, I'll just say hi to everybody in the chat. Nicole's there. I wasn't doing my hair, Nicole. I don't have any hair to do, but thank you for that. Hi, Joey and Red Headed. Red-headed stepchild, welcome. Chaos is there as well. Andy, um, so I don't think I've missed anybody. No, I think that's it. Um, I think that's it. So thanks very much for coming in, guys. And uh, we'll start with video number one. Once Sarah gets on the screen, that's... I'm trying. <laughs> Hey, water. So that that's the first one. I think that's called the stag in and stags in. Yeah, that's the stag. Pub, that's one of our locals. It's one of the only pubs that we were sort of drinking in Hastings. We're not big sort of drinkers. Um, obviously, the Stag Pub is a grade two listed building. I am reading off of some of the notes that we've done um, so we can clarify everything with you. Um, it's a 16th the building, century. Is this a, yeah, it's a 16th century pub. Um, I can tell you a little bit of history. Through. In 1861, they applied for the, the full uh license to become a pub it did get turned down but later on that did get approved um they advertised that you know w w it's still a working pub today they advertise that even the owners of this day as a haunted pub and all of this uh we can go through uh, a few bits which we've heard from the owners and we've also heard from people over the years with this yep. this is all connected also to other parts of um, of Hastings, so it will all it will all sort of come together. So, um, what, what what's the sort of questions that you sort of wanted to ask about this one? Just uh, have you ever done any investigations? Yeah. Not as yet. We're hoping to one day, but that's all down to the owners, sort of thing. It, it, it's very difficult because, as I said, the, the, the owners that have been there for some years now um, will not. Uh, I, but as far as I'm aware, no paranormal team have been there. He's one of these sort of people um, that doesn't want anyone to investigate it. Uh, but he's happy to advertise it. It's a haunted pub and things like this. This is one of the places where we, we'll get to that with the mummified cats. Um, I have mm -hmm. put. We have put pictures up before on East Sussex Paranormal Research Group with the mummified cats that were found in the 1940s when they were doing renovations on the pub. So mm. there's a lot of history with this pub and it's one of the most haunted pubs that we do have here in Old Town Hastings. It's a beautiful pub. I'll just say to, uh, to Nubs, uh, Ghost is in. Thanks very much for joining us, Ghost. And there was somebody else popped in there as well. I missed the name. 
Paranormal Underworld. Oh, Underworld as well. Uh, thanks very much for coming in, folks. I uh, hope you are well. Um, so the history of the pub dates back centuries, probably. Um, and it, you it, says, it does. It's a six. It's a sixteenth-century pub. What about kind of you know, death in it, murders, anything like that? You know, blood and guts kind of stuff. There, 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 there has been murders there. Um, there was a Dutch fisherman, uh, which was uh, well, actually he was a Dutch captain of a sea ship who was murdered by a fisherman in the town. Uh, apparently, he's there that haunts the cellar. Mm -hmm. We have also a young girl in white, which has been seen by the fireplace on the upper floor. The, the, there's so much. We've had to write it down because, I mean, as I said, if we were going to talk to you about everything, we'd be on, on, on here for three weeks. So, mm -hmm. sort of trying to sort of compress it all down so we can sort of give you guys some information uh, yeah in the 1940s they renovated the pub and when they did that they found the, the mummified cats they found two mummified cats that that is still on display now in a glass cabinet in, in the pub that so is, the, the is the genuine the, the spirits that are there, does anyone actually know, has there any of them been identified or know who they actually were in the physical? The Dutch captain has been identified at some point because we, we, we did have years ago uh, Haunted Book of Hastings that came out, which, well, a lot of the stuff that we've shown you with videos and that, it's all documented. It, it's all in the library. It's all in the books as well. So, so that is that is one. I mean, we've done a lot of live chats. We've done when we've done our investigations as well. We tend to use the beer garden in the summer at the Stag Pub. It's the three tier. It goes up because it goes up over the cliffs and uh, sort of thing. We've done a lot of lives there, and we've actually picked up quite a bit of activity from one of the windows. Yeah, there. And mm -hmm. the landlady has actually told us where a lot of stuff happens. She, she has offered us at some point to go to a but not an investigation, but a tour. The that means are haunted. You say the, the owners can have it. Lockdown has sort of hit. But that being a. Uh, I mean, really if you I... ever Google the Stag Pub, but You're, you're breaking up quite yeah, a wee bit. The only one put it up is one of the most haunted places. Yeah, I know internet's not too good tonight. The weather is not too good where we are, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that. And I'm, I'm right, internet. No, it's fine, yeah, it's fine. Where we are, we're, 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 quite, we're not too far from the sea. It doesn't matter where in the house you are. Yeah. Obviously, there is a secret passage way that is in the cellar that went to All Saints Church. That's going to be another one of your videos that you will show later mm -hmm. on. So I'm not going to say too much about that right now. But it is connected with the stuff that have been bricked off. Right. Uh, we'll, play, we'll play the second one now if you guys are ready. Yeah. That one, what is that a tunnel or is that a door at the bottom or what, what is that one? That's 
the West Hill uh, um, is something that we've not been with, so we've not investigated. Well, it leads part of the town. It leads to the island. This all goes under uh, from part of the West Cliffs, the Smudge Caves and stuff. But there has been reports there of a monk or something that has been seen walking up there that's been seen by quite a few people. Uh, this is one thing that we have not yet had the opportunity to investigate, uh, but this is another one that we're going to be ticking off on our list to do. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ruth, um, uh, Ruth's quite an interesting place to I'd, I'd love to have a wee walk down the stairs and see, you know, see what's what down there. It looks, um, Too many stairs. Look at that. Too many stairs. Well, you can sit in the car. Um... I'd love to have a wee, because yeah, it's quite kind of, just look at it. Stairs and, and, and they date back to 1800. Just, just look at the steps, you get a kind of We've got a little bit of delay here on, um, with the, with the internet. That's fine, buddy, we'll just, you know, we'll just take yeah, us a car. And we're 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 uh, apparently this is an old monk or It does have an eerie feeling. There, the, the, you know, you, you you get so down the steps. Temperature does change, but then am I ruling as as paranormal? Not a walk and everything. As I said, this is one place that we decided to check out. We've not investigated yet, but we know a tiny little bit. Of but we're not fully up to date with it yet. Mm -hmm. it, it does, it's, um, I think it's one on our list when we come down to see because it does look quite quite interesting to have, uh, have a wee wander about and see if we pick up anything. Um, so yeah, if you're I ready... With, um, but this, this, sorry. No, it's fine, carry on, buddy. You just, you, I know it's your internet. Sorry, sorry. And the weather's not. Um, it does me. As, as I said. Hey, Chaos. Yeah. But I think you'll be very interested in this passageway right underneath the caves and, and, and everything. <clears throat> so there is a lot, a lot of history there. So, um, trouble, you, you've got to be here to see. See it, you, you've got to connect, the video you just showed, you've got to connect to the top part with it, and you know, you've got to actually see it with your own eyes. Yeah. You'll get the feeling, you'll get everything there. Right. Um, are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Go on then. Associate with the stadium. <clears throat> See, this one's very, very interesting because obviously. With the clip you just shown, I'm actually taking you back to the stag pub with the image you shown before. And there's a lot of history with All Saints Church because this is what I'm saying. There was a tunnel that went from the church to the stag pub. That's when I said the cellar's been blocked off. There was the, the, the vicar there back in the 1800s that was 
harbour smugglers, all of this, uh, everything was getting looted through the pub yeah. and things. He got caught and he actually got hung 600 yards on the road from the stag pub on the beach. He was hung. Uh, mm -hmm. He is now buried in that churchyard in an unmarked grave. No one knows. The legend has it, and it is in the uh, it is in the library. It's documented as well. That if you are ever ever fortunate enough to see his apparition, and you were to follow him, you'd be the richest person in the world. The gold. Mm -hmm. No, you go. No. Right, you go. Right. Sarah's going to take over for a wee sec. I need one. Sarah, we won. Brandies, rums, but he was. Alright, okay, we've lost him. Sorry about the connection, guys. We're, I was trying to fix it. The weather is playing up. So, how is everyone, anyway? Happened. We've lost our guests. You still alive? Yeah. So about that, folks, I have to go and see to the wee one. We seem to have lost um, Sean and June. I know their, their internet is quite dodgy because of where they are. Um, can't get them back, buddies. Sorry about this. Show the second video again, please, while waiting. I don't have it, Nicole. I'll send you it later. Because I'm, delete right. I'm deleting them as I'm going along. So I don't do the same video twice. Alright. Um, connection's lost, Sarah. Can you show them? I've lost the connection with them. Uh, bear with us a wee minute, folks. Um, so the idea tonight was we're going to show a video and Sean and June were going to give us the, the rundown on the location. Also, with their internet being the way it is. Um, just me me. Technology. Technology is great when it works. We're back. We're back. Woo We're back. I don't know what happened there. Try to take your shoes. Weather's not so not, not so good here. No. Well, at least we've got you back. That's the main thing. So, um, we've got you back. Exactly. I don't know how much. No, so as you were saying, yeah, that the stag pub is connected to that church. Um, as I said, everything's documented. As I said, if you, you, you know, you, you're you fortunate enough to follow his apparition. spirit, apparition, you know, you'll be the richest person on the world. Uh, but obviously the stag pub is now, all that's sealed off. But Hastings is full of load of under uh, underground tunnels. Uh, they go into the caves and that. I, I took you to a place the other day, didn't I, for a walk, a place that I've never taken you. Mm -hmm. What did you feel? Creepy. <laughs> it's like someone was watching us. So, yeah. got a lot of um, you see there's a lot of tunnels there uh, that lead to the caves. So, I mean, that might be wrong. I don't know the history of the full thing. But with the tunnels, the caves, well, the tunnels... I take it that was used for 
smuggling basically you know the stuff that came off a boat and yeah. yeah, over smuggling over smuggling so it was kind of big business back then i take it it was a very huge business, very huge back then. I mean, I think even Guy Fawkes was found down here. Mm hmm. Hey, we're in the in the caves, or yeah. did anybody ever yeah, actually? Yeah, definitely. Has anybody ever actually oh, lived? Has anybody ever actually lived in the caves, or were they just solely used for smuggling? Many, many, many years ago, yeah, people lived in the caves. Um, you, you, you're talking back to the 1920s, even earlier before that. Yeah, people lived in caves. They were, the, you know, um, you go to the caves now and uh, where, where they, where, where you can pay and go and view it, you can actually see where they've sealed off these certain parts, haven't you? You've got many people smuggled into one yeah. block, how they used to live you've got the gunpowder there you you you've got everything mm -hmm. so yes back yeah. then people used to live in the caves i mean obviously the other ones that i sent you from the old town uh, a lot of homeless people used to live in there back up to the 90s but obviously that's all been sealed off now because uh, obviously the cliffs and all that into the caves and that have been deemed too dangerous. Uh, so Nicole's asking, so was it famous just because of the smuggling then? I think she's talking about uh, Hastings and the caves. Are, is that what it's most famous for? It's most, it is most famous for the smuggling. But don't forget, also, Hastings um, has been a great big fishing industry as well. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, Eddie, you can combine the two together. But yeah, for smuggling, yes, it was. That's one of the biggest things that Hastings is known for. And so, Nicole. And so, it's, it's the Battle of Hastings back in 1066. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I remember that's, that's the only about Hastings I know. The battle he says, Eddie's he's from uh, Alaska, but he says so it's basically uh, just like bootlegging. I think bootlegging means the same as smuggling. I might be wrong. Um, yeah, you're absolutely correct there. Yeah, bootlegging, uh, smuggling, yeah, absolutely the same thing. Yeah, definitely. But I didn't know that, so I've learned something. No, I might be wrong, but as the term bootlegging, does that not come from when people used to hide things, basically hide things in their boots? smuggle things in their boots no uh back in the day back in, go, go back to the 1800s bootlegging is exactly the same as 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 smuggling um back then i mean in this day and age yeah you sort of say bootlegging would be yeah hide something down there do you know what i mean but no back in the day is is it's, it's the same the same the same thing back then no, what I'm talking about is the, the origin of the word bootlegging. Nicole and Eddie says it is when people, you know, you get these kind of knee high boots and people used to hide things, you know, in their boots. They smuggle things, I don't know, like bottles of alcohol or something in their, in their boots. Um, I think that's where the term comes from. So it basically means uh, smuggling as well. Aye, aye. So I yeah, can't go that right. It, it, it can, it can it, it combines the two together. Uh, the, when you put the two together, yeah, they, they, they basically mean the same thing. Hmm. And so, if you're ready, we'll move to the next one. Yeah, we can move to the next one. That's fine. So is that the entrance to some of the caves, the smugglers' caves? 
Absolutely, because we're, we're, we're looking back now to Rock and Roll. This is the oldest part of Old Town. Unfortunately, as you can see, there's some modern buildings around there where they rebuilt. Um, did cause a lot of controversy uh, when all this happened. But yeah, they're the oldest part. They've been around for centuries. This is where most of the smuggling did, did happen. Um, I'm going back to when I was sort of 10 years old, so I'm not getting my age away too much. I used to climb them. Um, it was free for people. Them caves go back right up under the East Hill. Absolutely amazing. They've done nothing with it, so there's no tours or anything like that. It's all been fenced off. But there's also a lot of history on the top of that, even to modern day, isn't there, where we've had so many suicides where people have jumped off of there and stuff like that. So, yeah, you can walk into those caves if you're brave enough to climb that. Uh, they go in for quite a way. Absolutely you, you, remarkable. Uh, it's all connected with the East Hill, with the West Hill, with the smugglers' caves at East Hill, um, the lift of West Hill cliffs. It's all connected. It all goes underground, and eventually they all join up. Yeah, so it is awesome. Um, who's just asked did they use them for storage? Yes, those those ones back then were used for storage because if you went 300 yards, the sea level come up with the boat levels, that's where they used to store all their stuff. Then it used to get shipped from there and it went into the West Hill caves, didn't it? That's what and the East Hill. And then they used to contribute it and do whatever they did back then. So, yeah, that that was their main storage area with the caves that you've just so seen. Lots of residual energy as well. Then. Nicole, yes, there's a lot of residual energy. Um, we were only in the old town a couple of nights ago and we weren't even on investigation. And, yeah, mm -hmm. we decided to boycott from the one road that we did just to get off of there because yeah we had the footsteps behind us no one there loud boots old-fashioned boots stuff like that we're the only two in the town because we're on sort of part lockdown we weren't doing investigation so yeah we decided no we're going to get off of that one i know it's the difference between the beach and the caves because a wee bit of distance so, you know, I said the stuff we come off is that we come off the boat or the beach or the shore. Was it not kind of risky getting it from, you know, the boat up to the caves? It's it a bit of a bit of distance. To be fair with you, um, Scott, with the caves that, we, you know, the video that you just put up, literally we can take uh, 10 steps we're on the beach. Right. From where the caves were, it's literally 10 steps. It was that easy. Back then. Back then. I mean, for now, for us to get there with the barriers and all that, it's probably 30 steps. We're right there on the beach. So anyone that was attached to them caves that got murdered, it would be the souls of the betrayed. Absolutely. Um, that is absolutely true. There was a lot of murders in the caves. There was a lot of rivals back then with the loot and stuff that there was a lot of murders there was there is so much history as i said we we could sit here and go on for for a three week live chat here mm -hmm. and we could just you know go on and on and on about it you know mm -hmm. there's just so much i mean you come to hastings you're not going to take it all in three days but i tell you what you're going to have a good time in three days you're going to have a great investigation in three days and you'll want to come back again. And I'll tell you what, you could probably do this for for three or four years and you still wouldn't cover everything. Oh, well, we're, we're, absolutely we're brilliant. We're, we're really looking forward to coming I think you're one of the castle or the castle grounds. I... Oh, so, 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 so we're going back to Hastings Castle um, now. I mean... If you want to sit here and spend three hours reading through what Rachel, uh, uh, June, sorry, as um, <laughs> sorry, 
It's all right. Look at that view, though. How beautiful is that? It's a beautiful view. It is, it is very beautiful. They're all caves. Where we're standing on that video, underneath it is the caves. It goes through to the crime, the true crime museum. It drops down. All of this, there is all underground caves. Everywhere you go on that whole stretch, underground caves, underground passageways, streamways, waterways, there is so, so much. Okay, a, a quick question for Chaos before we move to the castle. Um, how many people died that didn't know what the caves were? Many, many people died. Many, many people died. I don't think we can give you exact of how many people. We, 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 can't. we can't. I mean, you, you, you're sort of saying with Hastings Castle um, some years ago, because obviously it's only ruins, but they still have the underground bit where you can pay, you can go underneath. And it was up till the early 90s where they actually still had the real skeleton of... The person in chains and and chained up in the cell. Mm -hmm. a real skeleton, and they kept it for, for for many 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 years. And then, as you say, time goes on. People then, you know what it's like. People go, mother told them, ah, you can't have this, blah, blah, blah. all the controversy and all this. And they ended up taking it away and replacing it with a plastic one. I've actually seen the real thing back in the day and it's such a shame to lose something um you know it, it's such a shame to lose something that huge and then to be replaced by a plastic figure i kind of take so you know take, so, so i i think you can have to away from it so the, the oh i'm still you stay with the caves just now the caves is a vast network who actually made them? Were they just specifically tunneled out to serve the purpose of smuggling? I, th the, they I think they were made that... <clears throat> don't quote me too much on it. As I said, I mean, if I went through the history of Hastings with you, as I said, I'd be on here for three weeks with you. But mm -hmm. the caves uh, were pretty much made back in the day for smuggling. That's what they were there for. That's what they were made for. Uh, the reason why the smugglers' caves, when I sent you a picture of the smugglers' caves, it enters the smugglers' caves. This was a road that I took you down the other day. The reason why the smugglers' caves were found, because I showed you the, yeah. the bloke's back garden from his house that sits high up. He went one day, and this went back to nine. Oh. 1902, 1903, he got a pickaxe up, he went to the bottom of his garden, he was digging out to, to, to do some gardening work, and his pickaxe went through, and a big hole appeared, and that is how the smugglers' caves were found. And years ago, you could go to smugglers' caves, you could walk under that, you could see the daylight. So if I was to take you to the caves now, which we've done, you and I could, could take you to that part, and you can see the whole, but they've cut the majority of the caves off now because they say, "Oh, they're unsafe. They're not. They're not fit for the public." But I took you to the place where the hole was. But you go to the smugglers' cave now; they don't allow you to see that bit. But years ago, you used to be able to see that, that bit, and it's such a shame because they are taking so much stuff away from people because what they want to do is they just want to take people's money they want to grab them in give them a quick tour get them out get the next people win but you they're not showing you half of what you should be seeing and that's so annoying there's a read um two seconds buddy we have a problem with the They're screaming a wee bit fuzzy there. Sorry about that, folks. Don't know what it was. I don't like technologies on our site tonight, as you and I, as both. I don't know, just, I kind of, wiggly, as it's, that's the best. I know that's no real technical term, but, you know, wiggly. 
So, um, um, uh, Elizabeth's got a comment. Yeah, it's always a way, Scott, you know. Um... Speaking of smugglers, one of my relatives was a smuggler. Robin... Byers was one in the cave in the Robin Hood Bay. Oh. Oh, that's very interesting because I've actually heard of that name. Wow. Elizabeth, she was on last night. She's the script supervisor for the movie, uh, the CRA movie, The Crumbs. She was in, on last night uh, with Matt Ghost, who's in the community. Um, so is a, a Robin, have you said the Robin Hood's Bay? Robin Hood is not sort of quite our way, is it? It's a little bit further afield. Um, obviously, I know of it from films. I've done a little bit of research of it, but obviously, it's it is not sort of. No, Ro Robin way, Hood's so. Bay. I was always talking about Robin Hood's Sorry. Bay. Uh, Robin Hood's Bay is that near Hastings? Uh, to be fair with you at the moment, as I say, we sort of research, you know, and we, we, we've done a lot, like, with um, the old town. As you know, you, you, we, we do send you a lot of pictures and stuff that we do. As I said, we can only do so much. Don't forget, we work all the time, oh, kids and stuff. So, can't do everything at once, which would well, really I, be nice to. I, I haven't heard of Robin Hood's Bay. Uh, I don't know where it is. Robin Hood's Bay, I don't, it's, it's not down where we are. <clears throat> so, so we saw the video of the castle there. The castle, obviously, there's tons of history um, concerning the castle. Because um, I, th I think thought, you wrote it down because originally well, thought, it was a wooden structure. Um, oh, uh, I mean, this, the, the, it has connection with William the Conqueror. It has. Yeah. <clears throat> Connections um, with basically it was William the Conqueror that actually during September 1066 William the Conqueror allowed that diplomacy and ordered the construction of a prefabricated prefabricated wooden castle. So originally Hastings Castle was a wooden castle. Um, mm -hmm. He then moved on to oh sorry castles. Sorry. He moved on to Hastings and erected another. Hastings Castle was originally a wooden tower. Sorry, built on top of a man-made which man made mound or moat which was surrounded by an outer courtyard or bailey the bailey was enclosed by a wooden i can't even read my own hand right now wooden yeah so it's usually wooden it got, it got yeah. constructed um, um back in the day but yeah william the conqueror was there i mean yeah. he's very well known in pevensey uh, I mean, if you want to visit Pemsey Castle and stuff, it's all connected. It's only a 30-minute drive from us. So we are and actually surrounded. Well. We're actually surrounded so much. But we're talking about Hastings Castle, but it's been seen with the woman and in... Is... But also as well, like after the victory of the Battle of Hastings, William was crowned on Christmas Day 1066, and he had issued orders that Hastings Castle was to be rebuilt in stone. So it was rebuilt in 1066. So we've got the Battle of Hastings 1066. This didn't just do Hastings. It just didn't do Battle. It didn't just do Pevensey. So this went far and beyond. Mm. <clears throat> so literally for us to, to to show you for all the history, we can take to Hastings Castle. It'll be a lot of handwriting. We can, we can take... <laughs> Uh, we can take you to battle where it all happened, and we can take you to Pemsey, <clears throat> which again for us is another half an hour drive. This is all mm -hmm. connected back to 1066. It's, it's you know, uh, a lot of people are saying that they've seen an apparition, apparition of a woman in a brown hooded cloak. There's also been seen on the West Hill. That's the West Hill cliffs where you sort of film with the castle. She's seen with the baby in her arms. Below the castle. And right. she jumps off the cliff. She jumps off the cliff because she had an affair with a fisherman back then and it all went wrong. Um, tourists have seen this. I can't say that I've actually seen it because we've not actually really sort of done a full investigation as no. such yet. But 
Again. Well, they, they, they have been seen to uh, they have been seen um, making their pre periodic return to relive yeah. the tragic event because obviously after having the affair with the fisherman when when he abandoned her, um, don't push me out the way. <laughs> Ab abandoned her, she couldn't bear the shame, so she killed herself and her baby. Mm -hmm. As I say, a lot of tourists that come here have. have have witnesses again when, I, when when we go back to the picture of po post office passage and stuff with little molly hawkins and stuff that we have seen um this one that we haven't no nah, quite yet but there's also uh other spiritual activities that sightings of a female ghost dressed in white in the former tilt yard next to the castle where jailston tournaments were often held in addition, there's a ghost of Tom Thomas Beckett has been seen wandering the castle grounds. Um, also, additional unexplained activity regarding Hastings Castle occurred during the 10th, no, sorry, 18th century, uh, when its ruins reportedly appeared in the original um, sort of state to the sailors viewing it from the sea. And and, mm. ju and just to vouch for all you viewers and all of this, okay, we're not reading it from a book. I wrote this that. Is <laughs> this is our research. And I can't read my own we handwriting. Have been doing so. She has been really, really busy researching. <laughs> um, we're, we're we're looking to. It's not a magazine. It's not a book try. that we're reading off. This is our our own work that we do. So we just want to clarify that one. And one thing uh, we all learn to do short handwriting. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't read that. I couldn't read all that. I'd, I, I write like my first two kind of sentences start off okay if I'm writing something. The first two are you know okay. After that, it's as with doctor's handwriting. <laughs> you know, I'll tell I'm, you what, Scott. I, Scott, I'll tell you what. I'll get her to write your Christmas card this year and send it in the post. You'll be there for about a week reading it because it'll be an essay. <laughs> but we, 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 we do appreciate all the effort you've you've uh, went into. Uh, I don't know what I've done. It wouldn't have been me, though. Honest, I would have gave up. Um, so that's women with the baby. There's, there's so much history on it. That's the thing. There's so much history. So I just picked out a few bits. Trouble is, Scott, okay, as I said to you, we can sit here and be on a three-week live chat mm -hmm. with you and you, Sarah, as well, because we're forgetting Sarah. Poor Sarah's Aww. sitting in the background. That's not nice. But honestly, you know, we can go on. I mean, little Molly Hawkins and that, I mean... Um, with post office passage, such a sad story. Because there's, there's two passages, weren't there? There's yeah, the passage. we've actually seen, we've actually felt, uh, you know, it's been amazing. Um, this is going to be something that you'll be very interested yeah. in doing with us. <laughs> We're going to be here a while because it's going to be <laughs> I'll play with it. I'll play with it. <laughs> we'll put the, the no. No. I don't, don't no. play me for the speeches. That's Scott, that is. There we go. There we go. Oh, one of our favourites. This is one of our favourite. Oh, no, you've got me in it now. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Yeah, I mean, see that that alleyway because I mean we've been there so many times, haven't we? But it's been different every time. Oh. It's just oh my god, it's so weird. Post office passage. Yeah, it's off of George Street. It's, it's George Street in the old town. Uh, George Street is one of the most haunted streets you're going to get in the old town. That's where I showed you pictures, bank house and stuff like this. Little Molly Hawkins. We we're talking back to the 1800s with her. Um, she was nine, ten years old. She had nine other brothers and sisters. Very poor house. That street used to have uh, market stalls and stuff back then. Underneath then used to be an underground stream. It still runs underneath there, but obviously it's tarmac now. But mm -hmm. it runs out to the sea and sh she stole an apple. She got chased by the stall holders and she fell in at Waterloo Passage. They dug her body out at Post Office Passage. 
and many, many people have who have walked that little passage from time to time, an apple has rolled past them. And this is still active to this day. It is documented again in the library, in the Book of Hastings. It's even been in one of the old papers, the which is in the library that dates back to the 1800s too. Because, I mean, the, the, the one that we saw was obviously an older version of her, wasn't it? Yeah. And at first, I thought it was just a normal human being. And she didn't speak. And, like, Sean snapped a photo. Um, because she was with someone else at the time as well, and she's like, leg and then grabbed hold of me, trying to look at me. And uh, I stayed put, and she was like, inches in front of me. He took a photo, the woman wasn't in there, yeah. Because technically, the story behind it was because you and with another one of our other investigators at the time, you were feeling that something that was going mm -hmm. on, the temperature dropped, and you felt uneasy. So, we went on an investigation that night. We were on a walk around because she was a new member to a group, so we. we we're giving her a tour, um, the old town and stuff, and the investigation we're going to be doing. And as I said, you two were feeling something. So I took my phone out. We didn't have our panel equipment with us. And, and I went to take the And all of a sudden, this, this girl woman appeared in front of, um, of, of me. And I was really annoyed. Um, I'm not going to swear to exactly what I said. And I went, for Christ's sake, just as so I took this shot. And this woman was there. Sorry, and all of a sudden, she sort of disappeared a bit. And then our investigator said, well, hang on, she's not dressed right. Do you want to go and see if she's okay? So I walk around the corner to see if she's okay. Well, obviously, this is a solid big wall. This is, what, 10, 12 foot high? Yeah. It goes on for a long, long way. She'd walked through a wall? She just sunk into the wall, disappeared. I reviewed my footage on uh, my phone. I did post it on our site group. And all you can see is I see her no, running like this, and she went, oh, and run. And guess what? There was no picture of this woman, which I clearly took a picture of off my screen. Completely disappeared. And literally, well, you know, where I am, she was like inches in front of me, weren't she? Yeah, A full body apparition. She's thinking that's a human living being. Yep. Turns out it wasn't. <laughs> but post oh. office passage is very, very good for us. It, mm. This is a place that we visit quite often. But yeah. we're quite on top of the old town. It's very hard with the traffic, with nightclubs, pubs, mm. and stuff like that, to actually really capture a really great EP. And it's so same because this is one yeah. that... Well, like I said, with, with you know, Molly Hawkins, you know... The, the post of his passage is different every time. I mean, the yeah. last time we went actually down there, yeah, there's things dropping out of God nowhere, you mm -hmm. know, smashing, um, things being thrown at us, and there's no one thinking, what the hell's going on? We ended up getting the hell out of there, didn't we? Yeah, we, we you know, you got, you, you sort of got um, old buildings around you, and then they're sort of arched. So there's buildings on top of this arch, mm. but there's, there's nothing underneath. Then you got air skies and that. And we had something drop on the sky. It's like the very old LED, well, not LED, sorry, uh, fluorescent tubes that they used to fill with talcum powder back in the day. It smashed it's, everywhere. It, it just dropped from the sky, smashed in front of us. There's no one around. And there's loads of white powder on that. And then we had somebody that was dressed as sort of in 80s clothes, a bloke. Yeah. He walked by with this sort of can of beer. <clears throat> Didn't acknowledge us at all. This was on a different occasion. In the same passageway. No, it was, walked, the same it was the same thing. Because he not, walked... not with Val. She wasn't with no, us. No, 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 no. I was talking it. about yeah. that time. Yeah. <clears throat> and as I said, and he just walked by with that fluid, uh, with that tube. And um, he didn't even acknowledge it, look at it, and he walked over that. And we I, heard bear no mind, glass bear cracking, mind, nothing. at that time, I was actually over <coughs> there and I was trying to figure out what the hell was going on with it. So I was investigating it, and he walked straight past me, didn't acknowledge me, walked straight over the broken glass, not a sound at all. I'm looking, thinking, that's a real person, right? I and I then it. I had an empty can thrown inches in front of my face from quite a distance. No one was there. And I'm like, what's going on? And then he walks back, doesn't he? Yeah. Again, doesn't acknowledge us. It's like we didn't accept over the broken glass. No sound, nothing. 
the thing is, from one mm -hmm. way to the other passageway, there was nothing he could do at ends. No. And then sort of got to the sort of end of it and just disappeared. But this was an 80s figure. Mm. This is something that I've not actually really got, we, we've not really got to look into yeah. yet to, did something happen in the 80s? But, well, I mean, like I said, you know, it's different every single time we go down there. Every time you go to the old change, I mean, you you know, Scott, you've seen that we do post a lot of pictures in black and white with the old town and stuff. Every time we sort of get some of the investigations and some aren't, every time it changes. And this two of I would great to get you and Sarah down with us because we could take you to the same place, one night, <coughs> take you completely. to it the second night to the same place and uh, you know you tell us what you think yeah. That's all. it sounds really 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 active um so i think it is interested i think it definitely is one to mm. to put on us and to go and see uh, as soon as we get down there and um, we've got another video a true crime museum and mm. um, we'll, we'll just put the video up Oh, I yeah. love that place. So that looks very old. Basically, I know it's a museum, but it looks very, yeah, very old. The true, crime, the true crime museum um, underneath all the caves. They made the true crime museum underneath all the caves. Uh, there's a lot of genuine artifacts there from bathtubs. A lot of the killers back yeah. then. We had the pleasure to uh, and got invited to work with another paranormal group. There was just the four of us. There's no that we were given the key. We got to investigate it. Unfortunately, the night that we did it was one of the most worst storms that we've had in Hastings <laughs> in 30 odd years. Yeah, it has been on TV, True Crime Museum. Um, we did get a lot of activity in some yes, rooms. Yeah. I mean, these are places, there's a lot of genuine artifacts from the craze, original letters. So with this, you have to pay for this venue. I mean, if you want to get it for four hours one night, you're going to add about four to five hundred pounds. If you want it for the six to eight hours, you're looking at eight or nine hundred pounds. But it is, it's an amazing. I tell place. you, it's absolutely one hundred percent worth yeah, doing. It is so so amazing, and it is built <clears throat> underneath the cave, and they've got all these artifacts. They're not just from from Britain. All over they're, the from, world. they're from all over the world. They're from all over the world. Original um, bath. Also because yeah, yeah. Also because we're paranormal investigators, we were allowed behind the scenes where normal paying customers general, wouldn't be. General public could yeah, not go. Could not go. So we can go behind the, the gates. We can lie in the bathtub. This is what I did. Um, right. I mean, you have gen, gen, yeah. genuine mummified hand there. Uh, yeah. The only thing we weren't, the only thing we were not allowed to touch was a genuine skull, skull. which is behind glass, and that was from one of the murderers with the original hung. noose that he was hung. It is there. I've and also touched the noose. You're allowed to touch the noose, but original skull oh, stuff we you because weren't allowed to touch. It's because it's so fragile and yeah this place has been on tv as well it's been investigated mm -hmm. um by i can't uh by a tv program because we watched it we were yeah, away it once didn't we? we were away yeah, for a I weekend can't, can't remember who it was this is a place that's well worth it it's a tv show <clears throat> but the true, true crime museum never sort of used to be there it just used to be the caves mm -hmm. and they just opened it all up that and they, we, we did we, we did try to go live, didn't we? Before we, we ended up it was the worst storm we had in 30 years. And uh, obviously, it did go up again on the groups. I mean, if I can 
find it again. Um, I think it's on my other phone. I'll re will repost it. Mm -hmm. um, it was, you know, it was a great investigation, and it's something that you guys would love because, as I said, mm -hmm. we, we you actually have genuine letters from the Cray twins. Um, it doesn't you've got just the stop Moors the, as well. More yeah, you got more in it. You got yeah. everything. You even have the original. I can't remember his name in there. Now. Barrels full of acid. Murders. I mean, even if you didn't investigate, it's worth your twelve pounds. Because we actually did that. Didn't we? Didn't we actually they? did that, didn't we? Yeah. And the whole entire time, it felt like I was on a, a on a rocking boat. I just kept swaying and swaying. He had to like grab hold of me a few times because I just knew about. Boom. The thing is, guys. I mean, you come down here. Look, I tell you what, we go there. Just pay for it for the, for the ticket. Have a wander around. Get your feelings because you'll feel it and sit and go. Do you know what? Do I, do I think this is worth investigating? I guarantee you, walk out there and go. I'm going to want to do this place. Mm. And the thing is, when you do it, you don't have any staff there. No, nah, they give you the keys. They give give you the keys. You're on your own. See, that would be good. Yeah, you the light switches, you know, it's black. Oh, see, they do, do this. Everything. Yeah, they do the, the, the safety thingy. It does so, look heavy. That would be good if, you know, they give you keys, you just get free, free roam, basically. Do you think it's, do you think it's maybe so active it because does. of the keys? Yeah. Do you think there's a connection with, you know, activity and energy between the museum? I, I don't, I don't believe it. There, there, there is a lot of residual energy, a lot of the items because um, 70, seventy-eight percent of it are genuine artifacts that are there. Well. But you have to remember where you put a video up a few back with all the caves above. This is mm -hmm. all built underneath those caves, so you also have all the energy from what used them caves before it become the true crime museum yeah. and. You know, so you haven't just got that energy that you haven't got that residual. You've got residual energy from the past as well that goes back centuries, and that's what makes it a truly, truly great place. I love that place. <laughs> it sounds to me, you know, uh, this is just my opinion, but it sounds to me it's like the whole of Hastings is just like a kind of hub of, uh, you know, activity and energy, if that makes sense. You know, you can kind of sense it's just kind of like a hub yeah. buzzing away with all this energy and activity. I know it's a hub because I, I, I was to um, nine weeks ago because we wandered down the old town. Um, we're on a straight road. Uh, old London really stretches three quarters of a mile. You've got the Victorian houses on one side. You've got places that even go back to the 16th century that it's right on top of the old town. And we were standing there at the traffic lights, weren't we? Yeah. And we heard these footsteps. And we see this bloke and walking up the road footsteps. in in sort of this uh, sort of cloak. And, and it was three quarter length. It was bloke. Uh, we got clear view, a clear night, everything. And he sort of walked up and he got disappeared. What about eight, seven, six, six, seven yards in front of us? He was there full view in that. Next thing, there's nowhere to go because it's all under just disappeared. disappeared. And it was hard. Mm. We just went, Are you yeah. serious? This there, is exactly. there was literally nowhere for him to go. And he just it, it, it's Spanish, go and on. it was heavy. It was like it was like hard of hobbles, and yeah. we weren't investigating again. You don't even have to investigate if you you're into the if you if you're into the paranormal, and um, you've got your open mind, you've got everything. Do you know what things will come to you? You don't even have to go looking in Hastings, hmm. and so that's it's really. It's almost like me. they know that oh they're coming. Yeah, Let's... and every time I go, what did we take up? <laughs> Equipment with us. Why didn't we get the full spectacle? Why didn't we get 
you know, you know what I mean? And it's so annoying. Because I guarantee you, the day you take all the equipment, capture nothing. <clears throat> and the day you just go out because we go, because obviously, obviously we're locked down, you wanted fresh air. That's what we did. And we, we were getting it. We were getting the energy. And we, we had nothing to capture. Yeah, with. you just take random photos and on. Yeah. You end up catching something. And it's so frustrating, so frustrating. It does get frustrating, but you see, that's, that's the beauty of the paranormal, you know, it's kind of, you know, like fishing, basically, you can go, you know, totally unprepared and see something or hear, sense something, and you can, you know, by the time you get your, maybe your phone out, it's gone, you know, and you can go, other times, you know, with everything, all your toys and whistles, and get flat, absolutely zero. Um, I think that's the other thing that makes it kind of, more exciting because yeah. you never know when you're going to get that nibble, shall we say, you know, that wee photograph or sound or whatever. But do you think maybe Hastings is so active because of the, the amount of layers that there is? You know, you're back in history, you're way back 1066, you've got all the battles, etc. Then you've got the smugglers, then you've got the true crime. You see, you know, if, if it's all just built up in layers, and that's why it's just so active. It's definitely a bit on layers. I mean, I mean, if you were to take caught from the cliffs and the rocks and that, I mean, they would go back even further than we could even imagine. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of bloodshed on the grounds. The history just goes on, and it doesn't just sort of stop with Hastings. As I said, this doesn't just stop here. This goes to battle. Uh, it goes to riot, riot again. Another pub, you know, 15-minute drive from here one of the most haunted pubs, but then <clears throat> most haunted apparently um, have uh, investigated this place and it is the Mermaid Inn. The Mermaid Inn, yeah, is the most active pub. But then the Mermaid Inn, that 15, 20 minute plus, linked to a Hawkehurst gang of smugglers, which is another 40 minutes away from us. So, so it's all just pulling in. Yeah, because the Hawkeye mm -hmm. smugglers, uh, they used it in the 1730s. 1730s, it goes back to 1730s. And 1740s. Yeah. That's on holes. So everything where you sort of, I, I think that Hastings is sort of, it, it, it is your central hub, mm. and then it's branching off. And also, apparently, uh, find it, some of the smugglers, their mistresses, and other characters are reported to want that in. Yeah. So we even have smugglers going that far afield from, from, from Hastings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think you can sit here and I'll tell you, you, you can spend weeks and weeks after you stop. But I think also, because of the amount of history there is, you're going to get spirits, just my, again, just my opinion, but, you know, you've got your modern buildings, it's your modern streets, you're, you're going to get spirits that are tied, maybe not tied, but connected to the land as well, you know, in these modern buildings, because obviously it makes no yeah. difference to us. Wait, wait, wait. Sitting there. Wait. Wait, wait. We've done actually a couple of private house investigations around here for um, uh, clients and that, and it's come back on a, a certain a couple that we've done, hasn't it? Didn't come back to the property, it came back to the land. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was very, very interesting, and we got some really good EVP, really good catches. But then that's before we become East Sussex uh, Paranormal Research Group, this is when we started off with the other group so you know so yeah a lot of it is land and not building i mean my house is haunted you know where i am now there is a lot of activity and as i said we were we were speaking with and jones um very good psychic medium he's worked with most haunted he's worked with zach bagans from ghost adventures no he didn't work with most haunted he was uh, 
he, he did some work with them, uh, with, uh, Ghost Adventures and all of this. Uh, we've had a good chat. We got a live with him at some point, and he turned around and he even turned around and said, "You just had your garden dug about at the back there. <clears throat> You've had this done and that done. Well, how do you know? Because I'm not advertised it on Facebook or anything like that." Um, he, he's really good, he's been on TV and stuff like that and he was telling us stuff about our house that we're in to what's going on and it's like it's wow, not, it's not just this house, it's also the land um, but it's not It's not the house it's the land, so that that, that that threw us back because we do with activity virtually almost every day here, <laughs> um, our kids are seeing it all here and, and, and stuff going on, so we do get it but I thought a lot of it was mum and dad but unfortunately it appears to be that we do have the spirit here but it's not harmful no he's a nice spirit apparently but he was hard uh, here but not in the house but on the land so we're yeah. going back to smuggle again this well, is this is all for a crime you commit so this is all open so all so basically very, all very, very interesting and just basically all staying yeah. back in the time with smugglers and probably uh, William McCoy, etc. Um, what about mass graves and what have you? Is there anything being found? You know, obviously, there's been quite a few battles there. Um, and I know back then, one of the ways to get rid of the bodies was just to dig up, oh, you know, a mass grave and dump them in. Um, is there any down you uh, in the Hastings area? There's definitely. There's, there's definitely a lot of mass graves around these things. I mean, I mean, you can you can go to the library, you can look at, um, and you can go and ask them to look at artifacts and stuff from newspapers going back for the most haunted places in Hastings. And you know, some of them are classified. They will not allow anyone to view them. Why have them in a library if no one can view them? You can't view them. They're locked away. Even we can't find them. We're not allowed to. They tell us we can only give you this much, but we can't give you the rest. They're locked. They're classified. Why? I'm never known to this day as to why. Why, in the, why are they in the library if we can't view them? That, that, that's, that's, that's kind of strange, you know, classified if they're in a, in a library. It's no first of trying to be able to cover up anything. I mean, you're not talking about aliens or anything like that. You're talking about history, you know, battles that took place and etc. You're not talking about, you know, like UFOs or anything. It is history. So, right, I don't, I don't, really, I don't understand. It's not why. about UFOs. It's all about the paranoia. It's all about the most haunted. Yeah, but it's all about the most haunted place in Hastings. Why won't they allow us to see that? Because obviously these places have never been investigated, but this would be great. But obviously, there's reasons behind it. But it's it's also sort of frustrating because you want to learn a bit more of that tree. You want to learn a bit more of what's gone in and on into your hometown. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm no, and I say when we come down, we're definitely going to be going to the places uh, with yourselves as well, and um, having a few investigations. So it might be more than two or three days. You might be stuck with us for about a week. You never know, you know. <laughs> we, 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 we might never come back or we, we might never go back, you know what I mean? Scott, 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 Sarah, do you know what I mean? We're, we're happy to accommodate that week. We're happy to accommodate you for a year. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, I haven't got room in the house at the moment with three kids and stuff and that. But uh, do you know, a lot of people that come down and visit us down here never want to go back. They love it that much. They do not want to go back. That's what I was like once. That's what you were like. And you said, I, I want to live it. And you go, I want to live it. I want to live it. I'll tell you, I want to that. Well, you've lived in India, you know, with me. You're stuck with me. Oh. But, do you know, I mean, <laughs> and as I said, um, we, we, we worked with a couple of other paranormal teams that come down and stuff. They didn't want to go back and they were so disappointed that they didn't spend as much time down here because it, it was just, they, they were blown away, not with uh, the science and the history of it, mm. but with the investigations and stuff, didn't they? And they were just so gutted 
had to go because there's just so much to do. And I tell you what, time goes quick when you're doing it, Scott, because you can get so carried away in the investigation. You think, I'm going to go do two hours in this investigation before you know it, you've done 10 hours. Uh, time just disappears. You get you're fixated right? on that one spot when you've got hundreds. Because you're just you're 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 that focused on what you're doing. Time does not matter. Okay, you come down. I... Um, but obviously we're I'm going to um, where you are, and I think you, you're going to say, "I'm going to move." Move it. Would you think moving to Hastings? Yeah, move to Hastings. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> She'll have a think. So have a think. But we're going to we're going to wrap it up there just now, folks. Um, we will be back. Um, but sure you will be back with us again. Um, we hope you enjoyed that little bit of history. Um, Sean and June, if Absolutely. we can just keep a wee hold of you for a couple of minutes after we go off, that'd be great. Um, so thanks very much for coming on, everybody. Um, and we're back on tomorrow night with paranormal analysis. Yep. at uh, 9 o'clock so take care and stay safe wherever you are and we'll see you all very soon